Intense pressing and relentless attack, today I'm going to show you how to play with Marcelo Bielsa's unique tactics in FIFA 23. Alright, so today we're going to focus on the Leeds team with Marcelo Bielsa from around 2020 when they first got promoted back to the Premier League. Now you're going to start with a 4-1-4-1 formation. This is different from a 4-3-3 in that the wingers are a little further back. That's going to be crucial for our defensive formation. And let's start there. In terms of defense, Leeds didn't just press here or there like you see some teams do. They were absolutely relentless and would close down the entire game. So you want to set this to constant pressure, set the width to 50 and the depth to 70. And it's worth noting your players genuinely are gonna get gassed running this kind of way. So it's important that you sign players or have players with high stamina depending on what mode you're playing. Uh, but that is really important to pulling this off defensively. Now on offense, the hallmark of Bielsa Ball was a free flowing attack. You want really fast buildup and a balanced attack in the final third just to give yourself a lot of options. The team liked to break with a lot of pace and honestly just go all out offense at times. So you want for these settings default players in the box about 5 out of 10 for corners and free kicks things like that just the default settings and kind of just play with the players you've got. Now, this is where things will get a little interesting. With the custom instructions, you want your striker, who still is Bamford, but was back at the time with Pielsa in charge, this player should get in behind and always be looking to open up the space, stay central, and just provide an outlet in the middle. Now, the wingers in this Bielsa formation were a little different. Rafinha used to play out on the right and cut inside for chance creation, as well as get in behind and really be another dangerous player up front. Now, the attacking midfielder on that right-hand side, or actually just a plain center mid, you want to drift wide and also get forward. So they're going to be another option to kind of actually get out on that wing when the winger cuts inside. Now, on the left-hand side, it's completely different. You want the left winger to come back on defense and really contribute when the team is pressing, especially in our own half. Uh, and then kind of just stay on the default settings. The left-sided central midfielder is going to do the exact same. All of the default out-of-the-box settings, things will run as normal on the left-hand side. And then finally, the most important role here, Calvin Phillips used to play as the defensive mid, and you're going to have exactly these settings. So balanced defensive behavior. In attack, they're going to stay back while attacking, but the important thing here is in the positioning freedom, you actually want to set this to deep line playmaker. So this is going to be a player who hangs back a little bit and is influential in the build-up play, exactly like Phillips used to do, kind of spreading balls around out through a, a deeper position in midfield. And then finally, in the back line, you don't want to do anything special with the center backs, all just default settings, so easy enough there. But the wingers realistically were both incredibly attack minded at the time. Alioski on the left and Stuart Dallas on the right. So you're going to want to set both of these players to join the attack and then overlap on the run type. So they're going to provide all the width and the attacking options in terms of uh, crosses and things like that. The risk you run though is of course getting hit on the counter attack. So when you're actually playing with these tactics in game, uh, again, depending on what mode you play, you're going to want to either have or sign players that are very pacey in the back line to cover. Because if you have slow defenders with this kind of setup, it's just not going to go well for you at all, no matter how good of a player you are. It's the risk you run and it's the kind of game Leeds played under Bielsa. Uh, more likely to win games 5-4 than one nothing, and I guess that's the exciting thing about this kind of tactical setup. Uh, you're probably going to have a lot of high scoring games and you just have to be ready to take some risks in defense and then get the ball upfield as soon as possible if you lose the ball and capitalize. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Here's some other tactical guides you can check out if you want to keep the ball rolling there. And if not, I'll be back soon with some more content coming up. But until then, I'm Respected Jeff, and I'll see you next time.